Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today we're talking about the crossplay update. Officially announced, coming out tomorrow, June 11th. Now, today, Sean Murray came out. They uh, posted a new blog post on the nomansky.com website, and it is epic. So, let's just jump right into it and. Hopefully you guys are excited like I am because this is going to be so awesome. So, on June 10th, that's today, introducing Crossplay for No Man's Sky. Hello everyone. A couple of weeks ago, we announced that No Man's Sky was coming to the Xbox Game Pass. We can now reveal that it will enter Game Pass tomorrow on Thursday, June 11th. To coincide with this, we are releasing a Windows 10 version of the game which will also be part of the Game Pass for PC program. This means that millions of Xbox One and Windows PC gamers who subscribe to the Game Pass service will be able to try No Man's Sky for the first time. If you don't know what Game Pass is, if you have an Xbox One, they have the regular multiplayer subscription which is Xbox Gold. And so if you have a gold, you know, Xbox Live account, that means you can play online. But there's also another tier above that, and that is Game Pass. And that's basically like Netflix for video games. They have over a hundred games. And the, the one downside I can say is that the games come in and then they leave. And so sometimes the game will come into the Game Pass and it'll be there for a few months. But eventually everything kind of recycles out. The only thing that stays are... Microsoft exclusive games so like Halo will always be there Gears of War always will be there but they also have other awesome games so if you don't if you have an Xbox one and you don't have Game Pass I would seriously suggest checking it out it does cost I believe 10 or 15 dollars a month but it's just like Netflix you have different games come in and different games go out that way you don't have to buy it at full price you can get up you can get it play it and just you know have fun with it anyway let's keep going Whilst that, whilst, oh man, I'm, I am definitely not an Englishman. Whilst that is exciting in itself, we've been busy working on something else in secret for the past few months. Something to allow everyone in the community to benefit from the influx of new players that Game Pass brings. Do you have a friend on another gaming system with whom you've always wanted to explore the great unknown? A legendary base you've seen, videos of, uh, <laughs> legendary base you've seen videos of, but never been able to visit? A mission you think would be great to play with friends on another platform? We are excited to be able to announce that starting tomorrow on June 11th, PlayStation 4 players, Xbox One players, and PC players will all be able to explore, journey, survive, build, and trade together. Excitingly, No Man's Sky is joining what is at the moment a fairly small group of games which which support cross-platform multiplayer. That is so awesome. I cannot wait for that. That is so awesome. A tremendous amount of work has gone into this update and the underlying technology and systems. We've moved to an entirely new networking ac architecture with more flexibility for future, for the future, allowing players to play together regardless of platform. I'm very proud of the team that has worked so hard to make this happen. Meanwhile, we are continuing to work hard on new content updates, large and small for the future. Making No Man's Sky available to vast new audiences and allowing those audiences to come together has been something we've been building towards for a long time. We're lucky to have one of the nicest, most welcoming gaming communities there is, and I agree with that. And it's a delight to be able to allow them to play together. The big question is, who have you always wanted to play with? Our journey continues, Sean. I cannot wait for that. And not only that, the the big thing that they're touting is crossplay. But if we scroll all the way down here, let me show you this amazing, amazing thing. No Man's Sky friends, when face to face with another player, a quick interaction has been added to smoothly create a new group or invite new players to your existing group. So now we can group up at the Nexus. We can group up in the Space Anomaly. Once in a group with a player, you can use the same interaction to quickly add them to your No Man's Sky friends, allowing you to quickly find and join their game again at another time. 
No Man's Sky friends can also be added at any time by means of a unique code. So you can actually get a code and share it with your friends. That way everyone can play together. That's going to be so awesome. The other big thing I saw from this, and I'm, I'm kind of skipping around. If you need to, go to nomansky.com and look at their uh, news, the most recent you know, update. They actually inc improved VR. Look at this. We have uh, VR upgraded the open VR implementation to 1.10.30. Cockpit exit handles can now be grabbed both ways up. Ad added an option to show the player's body when playing in VR. So now you just don't have hands. You have your whole body. That is so crazy. Improve the accuracy of hand tracking in VR. So VR is getting a fix. I've also seen uh, tweets that say that the frame rate, the the terrain loading is all a lot faster as well. So I think they put a lot of work into the back end. I think that what they're getting ready for, they're getting ready for the next generation of consoles. Because I really, I truly think that they made No Man's Sky the ground up for PS4 and Xbox One. I think now that they're they're trying to consolidate it, so. They're going to lower some of the aspects for the last generation, and I think they're improving the engine so that when we finally make it to the next generation, the PS5, Xbox Series X, it's going to actually look better. It's going to look closer to PC, and even then, they won't have to have a baseline anymore. They can actually pump it up even more. It's going to be so... Oh my god, I can't wait. It is going to be so awesome. I can't wait to see if they have those kind of improvements right now. I can't even imagine what they're going to put in once they have more power as a baseline. Because I really do think that the version that they run with is the the bottom of the barrel. And not to say that it's worse, but they go with the PS4 version. So if it can run on PS4, then they kind of port it over to PC. And so there's limitations there. They can't make it too extreme or else it won't run on PS4 or Xbox One. Now that they're, you know, next gen is coming, the power is going to get upgraded. I think that they're going to be able to add a lot more to it. And that means there's going to be way more intense uh, updates coming up. I, oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to play with you guys. Are you guys excited for the cross-platform play? I can't wait. I can't wait to see everything. It's going to be so great. I'm so pumped up. And starting tomorrow, we have it. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more... Subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I will see you guys next time.